melancarkan jazz fisik mereka Di samping itu mereka melancarkan all new jazz hybrid Jazz hybrid baru ini dikatakan ialah sebuah sports hybrid Kerana mereka meletakkan uh, dual clutch gearbox Dan juga motor elektrik yang lebih besar yang menghasilkan 30 kuasa kuda Walaupun kereta ini baru di Malaysia Sebenarnya ia sudah berada di sini 2 tahun lebih Honda Malaysia bersama Honda Japan telah melakukan research and development selama 2 tahun untuk memastikan jazz hybrid kali ini lebih sesuai untuk pasaran Malaysia. Antara isu yang mereka fokuskan dalam R&D program kali ini ialah penggunaan kereta di dalam kesesakan lalu lintas. Mereka mengujinya di Kelebur Raya Karak semasa kesibukan hari raya untuk melihat bagaimana stop start ataupun bagaimana clutch, dual clutch berfungsi dalam kesesakan yang berterusan begitu. Uh, sebab kadang-kadang uh, dual clutch ni dia macam jerking sikit lah Di Malaysia ni dia punya lebu raya tu jam jauh teruk kan Berjam-jam kadang-kadang kita 9-10 jam jadi mereka menguji di situ Dan juga mereka melihat di laluan naik ke Genting Highlands ada uh, laluan untuk memotong uh. Uh, Di sini pemandu-pemandu Malaysia dikenali uh, sebagai pemandu yang uh, agak laju memandu Dan melalui jalan beliku-beliku dan juga cerun Jadi mereka ingin memastikan bahawa jas habit ni tidak punya masalah untuk melalui laluan tersebut. The hot and humidity and also the uh, they tested several times in Genting Highland. That kind of steep slope, long steep slope, uh, hardly we have in Japan. So um, the uh, from hardware point of view, gear ratio they adjusted. Oh. And the uh, program uh, program also. Uh, Nanda. The shift mapping right. is um, uh, this can uh, accommodate to uh, dif uh, different shift mapping. mapping. The um, right. flat road this way right. and the uh, Genting high run like uh, uh, slow uh, change the um, shift mapping. Or, uh, it can identify the um, incline sensor. Yeah. The sensor, it can identify 15 degrees uh, going down or 15 degrees going up, 120 or 30. Oh, okay. So um, then uh, depending on the um, steep, it can uh, accommodate to um, different shift mapping. So in terms of the gear ratio that you change, is it for all seven speeds or just the one in the, in, in the middle? Or? So um, the reason is in very general the the um the for the smooth uh, shifting with a cross ratio just adjusted this those um, middle gears to three four six to um, balance. So the, the ratio was changed to help with the gear change to make it smoother, yeah, not for power or anything? Most mm. Basically this is manual transmission That's right. operated automatically. That's right. So manual transmission always have the um, half clutch That's slipping. Right. That's right. So um, uh, especially from Malaysia, uh, very hot and uh, humid. humid. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes other competitors had problem mm -hmm. issues okay. with um, clutch, clutch connection. Mm -hmm. So uh, minimize the of, um, a better have off or on always. Right. So uh, if you um, have the wrong shift uh, ratio, then it gets longer than um, doing the... Uh, so we are by bringing the ratio closer together so you can release the clutch faster. Mm -hmm. Is that what has happened? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So close ratio, so it doesn't lose like, not yeah, like this, not just... Slip. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, after two years, because um, Malaysian requirements, uh, we uh, gave feedback to Japan R&D, and uh, it's um, uh, uh, included in Japan spec also. So eventually the same. So this so is the improvement that you made after doing the testing in Malaysia? Yes, yes. So which is now also incorporated uh, to all global models? Or just Japan? Japan, because only Japan and Malaysia. Oh, uh, hybrid only Japan and Malaysia? Yeah, okay. so that's why the um, uh, we after the, uh, Japan uh, took two years to uh, test in Malaysia, and the requirement from Malaysia uh, gave back to um, Japan side also. Okay. Yeah.